Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. We've got Vincenzo with us today. Hello. And the boatless angler Antonio at the front of the boat, of course already fishing. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, of course. And today what we're going to be doing folks, we're going to be running the uh, T-turn bait rig. And uh, what we did earlier, we went out and we got our own live bait, eh? We did. With a dip net, dipped in some beautiful, nice, lively minnows. And uh, we're running them on the T-turn bait rig here. I've got the uh, single T-turn rig. Antonio, you've got the single, as well. single and Vincenzo. I've got double. You're running the double. Twice the luck to get a fish. Twice the luck. Okay, and all we're doing, we're fishing the upper Niagara River. Uh, it's our way of starting off the new year here in January. We should be ice fishing. Yes, we should. We should be, but we're not. We're, but you know what? That's okay too. I love ice fishing, but what a bonus this is getting the boat out in January. And all we're going to do is drift the river with the live bait and uh, hopefully we'll get into a fish or two. You never know what you're going to catch. Uh, there's rainbows, there's steelhead, there's uh, brown trout, lake trout, um, perch. perch, silver bass, walleye, who knows. And that's what we're fishing for today, right Antonio? Anything that bites. Anything that <laughs> bites. So stay tuned folks, we're hoping to have a great day on the water. No water. We just drifted back in the shallow oh, water. Oh, we're going to get tangled. <laughs> Ooh, my jump. Oh, well, you guys got smallies on, eh? Yeah, looks like. Good bass? Need an Antonio? Uh, yeah. Probably. Okay, hang on. Then. These are all bonus fish. Oh, I got one too. <laughs> I got one too. <laughs> this is crazy. Folks, like I said, we didn't know what we we're going to catch. I was hoping for some silver bass out here or some trout, but I don't know what I got here. I must have another bass because we moved into this. We started drifting in 20 feet of water and I don't know what I got. We started drifting in 20 feet and we ended up back here in this five feet of water, a little bit shallow. And looks like, yeah, it looks like we're into some bass. This is a smallie as well. I'm just gonna bump us a bit. So it looks like the smallmouth are here, at least in the shallow stuff. Okay. Like I say, when you're running these live bait rigs, you got a net? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one too. Here, here, here. Land them. Beauty. <laughs> Does that talk about bonus fishing for the month of January? Check this out. Triple header. Hey, triple header. <laughs> Look at that. How's that for January fishing? Nice. There's a pure bonus right there. It's not what we're fishing for, but <laughs> that's a lot of fun. Okay, we got to bump us back out to that 20 feet. We're getting close to the shoreline. We're going to keep drifting. Got I'm something on. I'm coming, Vincenzo. I'm coming. I think it's a, I think it's a little trout. I think it's a little trout. No, it's yes it is. No, silver, it's a silver, oh, silver bass. bass. Silver bass. There you go. Hey, we said we might get some silvers. Nice one. <laughs> hey, that's Good. a nice silver. Hey, you know what? We're gonna keep him. That's uh that's a good eater. Beautiful. Yeah, nice. Way to go, Vincenzo. Like I say, you catch the using the live you bait and you never know what you're gonna catch. Well, we're already on a variety of fish. All we need now is a trout. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that was a good pickup right there, folks. Oh, and it's a nice steelhead. Yes, it is. Oh, it's a dandy. He just picked up off that T-turn rig, grabbed that minnow. I just felt him taking it like that. Okay, who's gonna land them for me? Oh, he's still strong. You gonna land them, Vincenzo? I'll land them. Okay. This is a good, a really nice steelhead right there. What a nice fish. Okay. Ready? Nice. <laughs> That's a beauty right there. That's a nice bonus fish, eh? Oh, look at that. He's just caught just, just under the lip there. 
that's a nice steel head. See if I can get them. We're definitely going to keep this one, so I'm going to put my hand here right under the gill cover. Look at that. Bonus fish, eh? That's good. Yeah. If I here. get the hook out, maybe with the needle nose. It's just in the uh, upper part of the mouth there. Very nice. There we go. Well, <laughs> that just made my day right there, folks. There's a nice, see all these steelhead, they're long like a torpedo, just like that. Gorgeous fish. Okay, we're gonna put them in the box. And we're gonna keep drifting because you never know what you're gonna catch out here when you're drifting with live bait and minnows. So we're gonna rig these T-turn rigs back up and uh, keep drifting the river. And if you get an opportunity, just get out there, folks. Enjoy the great outdoors that we do have, whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall. Spend some time on the water and have some fun. That's what we're doing today. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Okay, let's get that live well fired up. When it comes to clarity and strength, what is better, 100% fluorocarbon line or fluorocarbon? coated line. Well, the advantage of the fluorocarbon